Hi folks. Now here I think we need to turn the audio off. Here. Hi folks, can you hear me? Am I audible? Can you hear me? Please let me know. Okay. Hi friends, um, thank you for uh, joining me today. Uh, if you're new here, I'm doing a series of live streams um, and uh, giveaways of some very nice products on my uh, channel. I'm doing a series of live streams for the next, uh, uh, I think kind of do three weeks, uh, two to three weeks. Uh, I, this is the third live stream I'm doing. And uh, um, uh, last week I announced the winners uh, of uh, Sihi chocolate uh, gift hampers and they'll be sent to you very uh, soon. Uh, and uh, every week I'm uh, picking out five winners. It's a random pick. Uh, so it is, uh, it's not a, any selection criteria. It's just a random pick from all the entries that have been uh, uh, made in the uh, uh, contest. Uh, so last week's giveaway was electronic scales from Atom. Uh, so uh, the Sihi hampers have already been sent to the winners. I mean, they, are, uh, they will be sent soon. And last week, I announced that I'll be giving uh, the item uh, scales, uh, five of these, and the gift hampers from Fabri will be sent to five winners. And I'll be announcing the winners uh, for uh, for the people who have won uh, these uh, scales and the uh, Fabri gift hampers at the end of uh, this stream. And... Um, this week's giveaway uh, for uh, this week, uh, this uh, is going to be a new giveaway and I'm going to be giving away uh, this really good quality almond uh, flour to five people along with uh, gift hampers from Farm Made. So you're going to be getting both. You're going to be getting uh, uh, this as well as this, both the things together. You'll be getting these uh, for uh, as this week's giveaway. Uh, so I have uh, uh, mentioned the uh, rules of the contest in the description box below the video. It's very easy to participate. I hope you will participate. Uh, this is really good stuff. I hope you will participate and I'm sure you will also enjoy using this as much as I like using these products. They are re uh, really good products which I've already tried. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so uh, and all winners uh, for all these um, uh, live streams for all the giveaways for all the five winners every week I'll be doing one uh, baking session for all the winners later so this is going to be on zoom so we'll bake something together uh, and I'm really looking forward to that uh, so uh, coming to the giveaway this week and uh, I have been using these uh, uh, I need to just give you the box how many kids so I am giving away a, a, a gift hamper from Farm Made Foods. Uh, you may have heard of them. They have uh, it's a fairly uh, new um, company uh, which brings out um, free range eggs, and uh, these are uh, really good quality free range eggs. I'll just show it to you. So they make these um, eggs. Uh, this is from Farm Made Food, and uh, this. This is from me. Uh, so I've been using this uh, since more than uh, one year now. And these are uh, eggs from healthy hens, which are uh, given a healthy feed. They're not uh, fed antibiotics and uh, hormones and all sorts of uh, funny stuff. So they are actually left um, to roam around freely in the uh, open. And uh, they uh, feed on natural feed. 
and uh, so uh, these are healthy and, and uh, hence and so if you do eat eggs uh, please do consider uh, trying out uh, these eggs these are really good and uh, these uh, eggs also have a very uh, beautiful golden um, yellow yolk they're not very pale so you can see that uh, you know uh, if i tilt it any more it might just fall uh, so they the yolks are really good uh, you can see the uh, color they have a nice golden yellow color and uh, they also have some very good coconut sugar coconut sugar is again a healthier kind of sugar and it can be used in cooking and in baking as well uh, so um, and they also have some excellent coconut candy so it is really really addictive and extremely uh, great you know it's really tasty so all of these things will be uh, included in this uh, week's giveaway hamper uh, so i have given the details in the description box please do take a look at that um hi rajesh hi rajapriya uh, ruksana uh, uh, hello vikram kumari shetty sir uh, he is the um, the person who has started uh, the uh, uh, crunchy nuts the almond uh, meals uh, so we have uh, it's really good that you know he has started this and uh, we are now getting excellent um, nut meals here in india earlier we would not get that so and even i would never buy uh, almond meal because uh, i was always doubtful about the quality because when you buy uh, any kind of nuts or uh, ground nuts particularly uh, you can't be sure how fresh it is and it's more most of the time it is it is not good so i would never uh, buy uh, ground almonds until i came across this brand and since that time i think it's been a few years now i've been uh, you know constantly uh, buying only from him so it's it's really good thank you so much for bringing this excellent uh, this excellent range of products for her, uh, for us here in uh, uh, india mr vikram uh, we are so uh, it's a really good thing uh, a lot of bakers here uh, a lot of bakers in my circle and lot of people i know a lot of bloggers uh, use uh, Uh, almond meal and uh, you know pistachio flour and uh, cashew flour and stuff from uh, Mr. Vikram. Uh, thank you so much again. Uh, so uh, please, um, so a, th- uh, a couple of things about this almond meal here. Uh, you can uh, check their website for more information about uh, almond meal. Uh, the brand brand name is Crunchy Nuts. So I will give the link to the uh, website in the description box uh, below the video. And uh, this almond flour is made from almonds after the skin has been removed. and uh, this is uh, not imported it is made here right here in india in uh, hyderabad uh, telangana so uh, so it's made in hyderabad and uh, so it comes to us really fresh and it it stays very fresh also for a very long time i have noticed that even if i store the uh, almond meal uh, for uh, even months then it still doesn't go bad it has that really fresh uh, uh, rich and very nutty a uh, nice uh, taste uh, to it so you can use uh, the salmon flour in uh, cooking and in uh, baking also uh, so <clears throat> uh, one of the things we need to be very careful when we purchase almond meal or any kind of nuts is the smell the rancidity because uh, nuts have a lot of uh, high uh, uh, fat con- content oil content is high so it tends to go rancid very soon uh but uh, so this is something you can you know safely purchase from crunchy nuts because i have tried and tested it and it's uh, worked really well for me so i don't really grind my almonds uh, now at home i used to do that earlier when i did not have uh, access to good quality nut meals so but now i do not you know, uh, do that but it's a good skill to uh, know how to grind uh, nuts at home uh, so i have made a video about how to grind almonds uh, it's on my video you can uh, take a look uh, so um Yeah so uh why uh, would you want to use almond meal in your cooking or in baking uh, it one thing is it adds a very nice taste to your uh, cakes and the cookies or your desserts or even your uh, gravies any uh, kind of gravy you make like we uh, soak almonds and then you, uh, you grind it to a paste and then add it to your uh, curries and uh, uh, rich gravies and stuff so even in that you can use this because you don't really have to go through the whole uh, soaking and grinding process so you can just uh, you know uh, add it it's a very convenient uh, thing to have so i i always uh, stock this uh, nut meal at home and especially if you have kids at home who do not like nuts some kids don't like nuts they don't want nuts in their mouth so uh, but we know that uh, nuts are very good for health Uh, so you can uh, sneak it in quietly in your uh, cakes and your cookies and uh, pancakes and a lot of you know even uh, indian sweets you can uh, try it out with these nuts they also have cashew flour and uh, pistachio flour and a lot of other uh, really good stuff on their uh, website please do check it out okay so uh hi vintage 
Hi, Varsha. Uh, thank you so much, Varsha. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, Rajesh, I have made a video uh, uh, about uh, making uh, grinding almonds uh, at home. So it is a useful uh, skill. It's, it's a useful um, thing to know. So if not almonds, any other nuts you want to grind, then it's a good thing to know how to you know, um, powder the uh, nuts at home. Uh, thank you so much again, uh, Mr. Victim. Uh, hi, Reshma. So I just want you to see the almond meal from uh, Crunchy Nuts. Uh, so this is uh, the thing I'm going to be using in today's recipe. And you can see that it is uh, really fine and it is uh, powdery. It is not oily or pasty at all. So this is how you need the uh, almond uh, meal to be when you are using it in um, any kind of baking or uh, you know particularly because you want the uh, almonds to be um, a fine powder without being oily or pasty or having any kind of funny smell. So this smells great also. Uh, so this is how you want it uh, to be. So, um, hi Marin, hi Reshma. So today's recipe uses uh, both the uh, uh, things, uh, that is uh, almond meal from uh, crunchy nuts and uh, some egg whites from farm-made free-range eggs. So I'm going to be using both in today's recipe. And uh, today's recipe is uh, strawberry almond cakes. Uh, these are basically French um, uh, cakes. Uh, so last week we got Italy to our homes and this week we are uh, going to uh, France to uh, have some uh, financiers as they are called. Uh, so these are uh, typically made with nut flour. Uh, that's the uh, main ingredient used in this. And you could uh, they could be made with almond meal or even uh, pistachio flour or wal walnuts or uh, you know, a lot of other nuts. Today I'm going to be using almonds uh, here. And along with that, I'm going to be using some uh, strawberries because it is the season of uh, fresh strawberries now. Uh, so if you like strawberries, you can use them. Uh, but honestly, I'm not really a big fan of uh, strawberries because uh, I find that they're a little too sour for my uh, taste. Uh, so maybe I've never eaten the good uh, sweet stuff. So uh, maybe I should try them sometime. But I do like strawberries just for the way they look because they make my you know cakes and stuff look good. So that's the only reason I like using strawberries. Uh, so if you like strawberries, you can uh, use them in these cakes or you could you know just skip the strawberries and then make them plain. So either way, it will taste really good because uh, there is um, almonds here, uh, there is, um, uh, you know, uh, the taste, there is butter. So it's going to be a very nice and very rich taste, very flavorful uh, little cakes. And these are very easy and very quick to make. And uh, the best thing is that you can make this batter and you can keep it in the fridge for a couple of days, for maybe uh, two days. And then you can bake the cakes whenever you want. And these taste the best when they are just out of the oven. Uh, like just when they have cooled, then you can eat them. So that's when they taste the best. They're buttery and have that very nice almond flavor to them. Uh, so please do try these uh, little uh, cakes. <clears throat> so there is uh, the same recipe, uh, a similar recipe is there on my channel. I've made a video. Uh, it's called, um, I think, Orange Financiers. And uh, there's also another recipe for uh, a chocolate almond uh, cake or something. Uh, so I'll uh, leave both the links in the description box uh, below the video. Uh, maybe if you like chocolate and almond combination, maybe you could try that as well. So that also tastes really good, especially with some uh, ice cream, it tastes really good. Hi, Daisy. Uh, hi, Venkatesh. Uh, good to know that you are from Bangalore. I'm in Bangalore too. Yeah, thank you so much, Daisy. Okay, so uh, these uh, strawberry cakes, I'm going to be making them in this uh, mini muffin tin. Uh, one uh, reason for making them in this uh, mini tin, these are usually made in small sizes, like you know, you could make them in a um, rectangle shape or even in a muffin tin or even in a tart tin uh, using, any seasonal, using any seasonal fruit you like. I'm making them in this mini muffin tin because these are quite rich. And uh, uh, the another reason is that they bake very fast when you bake in small tins. So in this mini muffin tin, it's going to be uh, to get baked uh, really fast. Uh, so and the size is small. Uh, it is rich, so it's perfect. So you can also try baking it in some uh, you know, small tin. And this one holds about two tablespoons of batter. So it's a very small one. So and it will hardly take about uh, 10 to 12 minutes for the uh, muffins to get baked. 
and if you want to try something like jam muffins or you know something like that uh, some uh, small rich things then uh, this kind this uh, kind of a pan is really helpful to have uh, so i have about three of these which i keep using especially when i want to try out new recipes and i don't want to make a lot of stuff because i don't know if i will like the recipe or not so i try to use a, a very small uh, muffin tin like this uh so uh this muffin tin i have greased it with uh, baking spray uh, so uh, this is uh, greased and uh, my oven will be preheated to 190 degrees centigrade and uh, before i preheat the oven i, I will first uh, show you the uh, ingredients and uh, i will need to melt the butter so i first melt the butter before i uh, start preheating the oven because i will need to use uh, the microwave for both baking and uh, for melting the butter uh, both today so this is some uh, soft unsalted butter uh, this is some good quality organic butter so i'll just melt this i think this must be very loud something wrong with my microwave on uh, something is wrong with my microwave and it makes a lot of noise when i run it on microwave mode just give me another 30 seconds okay so i have melted the butter and i will preheat the oven to 190 degrees centigrade Yeah. So while the oven is preheating, I'll just show you the uh, rest of the ingredients we need to make these uh, strawberry and almond cakes. Uh, so uh, the star ingredient that is uh, this um, ground almonds, and please remember, uh, regardless of uh, whether you are using homemade almond flour or uh, ready-made stuff, it has to be fresh. It should not smell rancid. and you want it to be powdery like this you don't want it to be pasty it should not be oily or pasty if it is oily or pasty then you will not be able to uh, mix it into the batter well and you may have clumps of almond here and there almond paste kind of stuff so uh, it's not really going to taste good so please make sure that you grind your almonds uh, like this you can watch my video about uh, how to uh, grind almonds for use in uh, baking i'll give the link in the description box below the video and uh, there is some uh, maida here this is a regular flour uh, or maida uh, so these are almost like the almonds uh, in proportion to the flour the almonds are more than the flour in this recipe and uh, i have some powdered sugar here this is some normal white sugar which has been powdered fine and uh, i have some uh, egg whites here i have separated the eggs and i'm going to be using only the whites uh, typically in this uh, in financial recipes only whites are used yolks are not used in this recipe and um, uh, and and in this particular recipe uh, there is no need for you to be uh, you know worried about separating the eggs because in some recipes where the egg whites need to be whipped to a volume in that uh, in those kind of recipes you need to be very very careful that you do not want to uh, get even a tiny bit of yolk in the whites if that happens your egg whites will not whip well but in this recipe we are just going to be simply mixing the egg whites along with the rest of the ingredients so we are not going to be whipping the whites so there is no need for you to be so uh, concerned about a little bit of yolk coming inside the whites it is perfectly fine so don't worry about that uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah so there is also a video about how to use eggs in baking on my channel if you are new to baking maybe you could uh, watch that and so then what will you do with the yolks you can um, mix a tiny bit of sugar in the yolks and then you know whisk it with a fork and then put it in some uh, small uh, uh, air tight box and then put it in the freezer you can use it in any recipe which calls for egg yolks uh, like maybe custard or creme brulee or uh, something uh, so you you i mean you don't have to waste and especially when it is very good stuff you particularly don't want to waste uh, good stuff like this so you can freeze egg yolks so you can also freeze egg whites that's another thing
and uh, yeah, I'm going to be using a little bit of baking powder. And I always use aluminum free baking powder. You should also use aluminum free baking powder as much as possible. Uh, this is uh, good. Hi, Daksha. Hi, Rajini. Um, uh, hi, Rajesh. Yes, it's been more than 10 years since I got my oven now. But uh, no, I don't want to change my oven because I really like it and it works perfectly fine. Uh, so I don't really want to change my oven. Um, hi, Lavanya. Uh, Lavanya wants to know if there's any alternative for egg whites. Um, no, Lavanya, I'm not uh, sure if you could make this recipe without uh, the eggs that I have not tried. Uh, financiers are typically made with um, egg whites and almond meal and maida and uh, stuff like that. Uh, I will try to find a recipe. If I can find a recipe for eggless financiers, I'll definitely share it with you. Okay, so uh, if you want, you can also add the zest of one lime or uh, uh, half an orange in this uh, recipe. Uh, so that will also uh, taste good. And uh, yeah, and then I have some strawberries. So you can see that there are very few ingredients here. We don't have a, a big list of ingredients in this recipe, but it's still going to taste really nice. Uh, you can try it and see for yourself. Uh, don't, don't take my word for it. You should try it out yourself. And I'm going to be also using a little bit of uh, good quality vanilla extract. So uh, I have lined up all my ingredients on the counter. This is very, very important. Uh, but especially if you're new to baking, please make sure that you weigh all your ingredients and you line them up on your counter. Uh, do not uh, start, um, you know, the mixing process and then start going around uh, to you know, find ingredients and then start weighing ingredients just before you are going to be dumping them inside the uh, uh, cake. I mean, it, it, it's not something you should do. You should always weigh your uh, ingredients ahead of time. Uh, put everything on the uh, counter, uh, prepare your pan, preheat your oven, and only then you start the mixing process. So that really helps you to make sure that you do not miss out on any ingredient and you weigh all ingredients accurately and then you can focus on the mixing method. So that really helps you. Uh, Varsha wants to know how long can the whites of yolks be frozen? Um, Varsha, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm uh, whites, I have heard that they can be frozen indefinitely, so but I've not tried that for such a long time. So I'm sure yolks can also be frozen for at least one or two months minimum. Like, you know, uh, I'm sure you can freeze, freeze it for uh, uh, that duration. But uh, I have um, I made a video, I think I've mentioned all of these things in that uh, video, all these details. Uh, Varsha wants to know uh, aluminum free baking powder brand. Uh, you can try using urban platter, uh, Varsha, there's urban platter aluminum free baking powder available. Maybe you could try that. Okay, uh, so uh, I will start mixing uh, the uh, batter for the cakes. And then I will again come back to the comments and uh, uh, answer any questions you may have. So this, I'll keep it aside here. And uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to sift the flour and the uh, baking powder uh, together. So uh, this is the flour. And uh, I need a tiny bit of baking powder here. This is only about one eighth of a teaspoon. Uh, this is, uh, I've seen recipes for financiers which do not use uh, baking powder. Uh, so if you, I mean, I found that using a tiny bit of baking powder uh, really helps in this uh, recipe. So this is going to be one eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. So uh, if you are new to baking, please remember that if you say, uh, if I say it's one eighth of a teaspoon, it is a level teaspoon of, uh, you know, one eighth is one eighth level teaspoon. It should never be a keeping teaspoon of uh, baking powder or baking soda. That really makes a difference. And uh, so we'll just... Sift these two together. You can sift it twice. A lot of recipes just whisk together the um, uh, baking powder and the um, flour.
and uh, we'll keep this aside. And uh, okay, so uh, now uh, in this mixing bowl. This is going to be making a little bit of batter. We are just making enough batter to uh, fill in this mini muffin tin. Uh, so we'll take the egg whites. Uh, this is the white of two eggs. Uh, that is 60 grams of egg whites. So even when you are using eggs, please always weigh the uh, eggs. Uh, because uh, the usually recipes mention uh, the number of eggs, like two eggs or three eggs or uh, two whites or uh, something like that. Uh, so, but then since the eggs can always vary in size and uh, they're not even graded according to the size. So you need to uh, take the shell, you need to uh, uh, remove the uh, shell of the egg and then uh, you need to uh, weigh the eggs without the shell or even just the whites or yolks, whatever is required in the recipe. Uh, so you need to weigh always. Do not go by the numbers of uh, eggs for uh, recipes for best results. So we'll take the egg whites. Uh, Rajapriya, I'll be uh, posting this uh, recipe in the description box below the video. Hi, Binu. And uh, so I've taken the uh, egg whites and I will add the vanilla to this. You will see that this is a really a super, super simple recipe. I think even kids can do this. And it's uh, the kind of recipe, you know, you can just make the batter and keep it in the uh, fridge. And if you have, uh, you know, if you are any, expecting any guests, uh, of course, now in COVID, we don't want people to come home. Uh, we don't want guests now. But uh, when you have guests or when you, when you are expecting uh, guests, then you can make this uh, batter and keep it in the fridge. And, uh, you know, when, uh, uh, when you want to serve uh, the dessert or, uh, you know, this thing, then you could just quickly bake this in about 10 to 12 minutes. So that's something really nice about this uh, particular uh, recipe. So this is the vanilla and the um, egg whites. And if you'd be using orange zest or lime zest, you can add it to the egg whites now at this uh, point. Uh, okay. And uh, so we'll also add the uh, sugar here. I forgot another ball. Just give me a moment. Yeah. So I'm taking the uh, flour. the sugar and we'll just mix this and uh, now we'll just add the rest of the ingredients uh, to this one here to this bowl this is the flour and the uh, sugar Uh, of course, we need to add the almonds, the ground almonds. Basically, all the dry ingredients are here in this uh, bowl. Just mix them well to combine. And then add the egg whites. Another thing is never add uh, egg whites uh, or eggs directly to your recipe when you're weighing it. 
uh, because uh, if you end up adding a little too much, then it's very difficult to uh, you know remove it from uh, the batter. And uh, now I'm going to be adding the melted butter. And make sure that you mix this well. So you just mix the uh, batter well, use the uh, whisk in the uh, butter and make sure that it is well combined, you do not want greasy cakes and make sure that the butter or uh, whenever a recipe calls for melted butter. So unless the recipe specifies that the butter needs to be hot, then you need to uh, use butter which has been melted but it has cooled and it is still liquid. So in case it has already solidified or it is uh, looking like you know, it, it's uh, beginning to solidify when you are uh, mixing the batter. Just uh, microwave it for about uh, 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, but make sure the uh, butter is not hot because you do not want to cook the egg whites here. Uh, this needs to cook in the oven, not when you are mixing the batter. So that's it. This is the batter for your uh, strawberry financiers. Uh, so this is really simple and uh, extremely easy. And um, So at this point, you can just cover this with cling wrap and then keep it in the fridge uh, for two days and then you can use the batter whenever you want to uh, make the cakes. So I'll just drop the batter in this uh, muffin tin. So this is going to make about uh, 15, uh, 15 small cakes. I'll fill this about three fourth full. You can change the uh, nuts. I'm using ground almonds. You can use maybe uh, pista flour if you have. So that will also taste really good, uh, but not with strawberries. I don't think this and strawberries will go well. Uh, maybe with some other uh, fruit or uh, you know uh, just plain. Um, that should taste really nice. Maybe you can add some cardamom powder and it will taste like an Indian sweet. Have you tried baking with uh, ground almonds? And uh, have you tried making your own ground almonds at home? Or uh, what do you do if you want to, uh, if a recipe has uh, ground almonds in it? So in re some recipes, it is mentioned that you need to rest the batter in the fridge for some time before you use it. Uh, but in this particular recipe, this recipe is from uh, the pastry chef, David Lebowitz. So he uh, doesn't mention any of this. So I'm just going to be using the uh, batter straight away. So we are almost at the end of uh, the uh, terrible uh, 2020 and I did not want to do this live stream tomorrow because all of you may be uh, busy with your uh, plans for uh, New Year's Eve. So I thought I'll just do it today. There's some uh, batter around the, uh, on the muffin tin. I'm just going to wipe this. Uh, because you do not want this to start burning in the oven and uh, the cake will also smell bad later. So I have used, I have filled these about uh, three fourth full and I'm going to be putting some strawberries on top of each. 
so maybe uh, if you are somewhere uh, around mumbai or somewhere near mahabaleshwar maybe uh, you get really good strawberries uh, so you because uh, they grow strawberries around there and uh, so i have never tasted a sweet strawberry so far so i can't say i love strawberries but i do like uh, using strawberry as a puree so i like to uh, cook the strawberry with uh, sugar and uh, then you know uh, crush it um, and then i uh, use it in desserts or you know maybe use it with uh, whipped cream uh, you can just fold it in whipped cream or use it in ice creams and such so that tastes really good but uh, not the uh, raw strawberries okay so so this is how it is now and now i'm going to be baking this for 12 minutes it takes 12 minutes in my uh, microwave Uh, so the baking time may uh, vary depending on your oven and the size of the uh, muffin tin you'll be using so typically for this this will take about 10 to 12 minutes not more than that yeah so it's a very very really really simple uh, recipe uh hi china Hi Sandhya, thank you so much. Hi Faizan, hi Rukhsana. Okay, yeah. So a uh, couple of more tips about um, using eggs in uh, baking. Uh, so the whites I used were at room temperature. I uh, had to mention that in the uh, beginning. So whenever uh, recipes call for uh, eggs, it is at room temperature. All ingredients need to be at room temperature, not just eggs. Uh, so, um, but then there are some recipes which call for eggs uh, to be cold. Some Brahmi recipes say that you have to uh, use the eggs cold from the uh, fridge. But normally, eggs are used at room temperature. Uh, so, uh, you should always weigh eggs for baking. You should always uh, crack the egg open and then weigh it without the shell. So, uh, one whole egg uh, without shell will weigh about fifty grams. One egg white uh, will weigh. Um, 30 grams and one yolk is about 18 to 20 grams so this is uh, how you should uh, weigh your uh, eggs when uh, you need them for uh, baking and uh, eggs can do wonders in baking uh, there are so many awesome things you can do uh, i know a lot of you don't eat eggs here but uh, something you know really uh, you can do magical stuff with eggs uh, just eggs i mean whole eggs uh, sometimes in um, some recipes some sponge cake recipes Uh, there is no baking powder or uh, baking soda or any other kind of thing it's just the eggs which will make the cake rise so in these kind of recipes the eggs are beaten to a volume using usually or typically a stand mixer or a hand mixer you uh, uh, whip the eggs so that they uh, double or triple in volume and uh, then you add the flour and the uh, sugar the eggs and the sugar are first whipped and then you add the flour and then you bake it so it makes a really nice cake you can't eat the cake just like that it doesn't taste good that way Uh, because it is meant to be a uh, you know slightly dryish kind of thing, <clears throat> but uh, this is the kind of batter that is used for making lady fingers, uh, the kind we use for making tiramisu. Uh, because you want this cake or this kind of sponge and these fingers to be dryish. Because when you uh, so dip them in a liquid, you don't want them to become soggy. You want them to uh, become moist without becoming soggy. So that is where uh, this kind of recipes really uh, help. and uh, there are a lot of things you can do with just egg whites um egg whites can be used in recipes like this like the one, like the one i made just now uh you can make uh, macarons and then macarons french macarons and uh, a lot of fun recipes even you can make ice cream cones at home uh using egg whites that also works really well uh, so all these things are on my uh, blog if you want to uh, uh try it uh, sometime so <clears throat> so really good things like you know very uh, wonderful things uh, these things are and you can also bake meringues you can uh, whip the uh, just the egg whites and sugar are uh, whipped in the um, stand mixer and uh, then you can um, uh, make shapes out of them and then you can just pipe them on the baking sheet and then you can bake them in the oven until they become very dry and uh, crisp so this uh, is eaten as it is also of course uh but i find it a little too sweet uh but then if you add some coffee or something like that then you can uh, uh make these uh cookies uh, 
but um, yeah in this uh, thing you need to be very careful that you're not uh, you know even a tiny bit of yolk in your uh, uh, whites will make sure that the whites don't whip so that's going to be a bit of a problem so you need to be very careful and uh, if you have heard of chiffon cakes so uh, typically uh, in chiffon cakes uh, the egg whites form a very important uh, part of the uh, cake batter uh, because uh, the cake rises um and this the cake is very very light the light uh, the cake uh, the texture of the cake is extremely light the chiffon cakes and uh, egg whites there are a large number of egg whites in uh, recipes like this so in this recipe it is very very important that you uh, whip the egg whites to uh, the volume specified in the uh, recipe and then you fold the egg whites very gently in the cake batter so that the cake uh, rises uh, very tall and you know really nice uh, so that's something you should definitely try once Hi Sanjana. Uh, hi Ramesh, I'm sorry I missed uh, a couple of comments here. Hi Meril. Yes, Rajapriya. Rajapriya says she tried chiffon cake. It was Uh, so soft, yes, uh, Rajapriya. It is. Uh, it's it's a very very different uh, kind of cake and uh, very nice. Like you know, it's it's a unique cake. So I think everybody should bake a chiffon cake uh, at least once. And then there are. Uh, it's a close cousin of uh, chiffon cakes. It's called as angel food cake. So it also is uh, uh, typically uh, done very uh, similar to uh, the uh, chiffon cake. The process is very uh, similar to that. uh so it's it was an amazing cake i had made an orange glow chiffon cake uh, it was a recipe from those brand bomb and i just I, I, it's been a very long time since i made that cake but i will never forget that uh, uh cake it was so beautiful so light and so nice like you know it's it's amazing you should definitely uh, try that and the uh, chiffon cakes are typically baked in um in a separate in a different kind of uh, cake pan so this is called as a tube pan so it has a tube in the center of the uh, pan so because the uh, cake is so light uh, so when it rises in the oven it needs support that is why you bake it in a tube pan and then this is the uh, this and angel food cake these are the only two kinds of cakes which are cooled upside down so you typically you actually uh, take the cake tin and then you invert it like this and then give some some kind of a support under the uh, cake and the cake should cool upside down so the bottom will be up and the top will be down uh, the reason is that the cake is so light in texture that it will collapse under its own weight so that is the reason why chiffon cakes and angel food cakes are cooled upside down so uh, it's it's uh, you know uh, so many different kinds of uh, things to uh, bake and uh, try isn't it hi monta Okay, so if you have any questions about uh, uh, this uh, particular recipe, or uh, anything about uh, using nuts in baking or uh, eggs in baking, uh, you can uh, ask them here in the comments. So uh, I said that you can um, freeze egg yolks. but uh, when you add the uh, sugar to the egg yolks you need to make a note of how much sugar you have added to the egg yolks uh, when you are freezing them because when you are using it in some other recipe you want to subtract this amount of sugar from that recipe otherwise it's going to become very sweet uh, so uh, you can use egg yolks even in ice creams and uh, caramel custard and you know different kinds of baked custards uh so it's uh, something really nice and it gives a very uh because it's basically a lot of fat it has a lot of fat content in the uh, yolks so it gives a very nice uh, texture <clears throat> yeah devashree says whenever i bake in loaf tin it is not baked properly sometimes it is under baked sometimes it is over baked um Okay. Uh, yeah, Devashree, uh, I can't really tell you what could be the uh, cause of the thing. Uh, just make sure that if you are, if it's uh, happening only in your uh, loaf tin, please make sure that uh, you're not filling it um, more than half. You do not want to fill the loaf tin. Of course, uh, if it is mentioned in the recipe, you have to follow the uh, instructions given in the recipe. 
uh, but sometimes if the uh, pan is filled too much also the cakes don't bake uh, properly and also please make sure that your oven is heating properly and uh, it's working well so it has to do a lot of uh, different um, factors it is not just about one thing uh make sure that your oven is heating properly sometimes uh, ovens especially if you are using an otg uh it will heat uh, a lot like you know it will become very hot the temperature inside the oven uh, even if you uh, set it as 180 degrees centigrade actually inside the oven the temperature may be higher it may be about 200 or so and uh, so in such cases what happens is the outside of the cake will get uh, cooked fast but the inside of the cake will still not be done so that is one of the most common reasons for uh, something like this to happen Uh, so we, maybe you could uh, use an oven thermometer and find out if your oven is heating properly and in case you do find that the oven is not heating well so maybe you should uh, you know get the oven checked by a uh, technician okay devshri says i baked on the uh, gas uh, so was the what uh, what was the heat uh, like uh, devshri uh so please do check on that so one of the reasons i'm not very comfortable uh baking uh in uh, cookers is because you don't really know uh, you know you can't really uh, control the temperature so it is a little bit uh, tricky uh rajapriya thank you so much rajapriya she says happy new year in advance happy new year to all of you too uh we certainly hope that uh, 2021 uh will be a really good year for all of us uh and uh, i have uh, i mean this news that the vaccine is going to be um coming soon i believe it's uh, been approved in uh, uk and so maybe you, we should also be getting it here uh, sometime soon maybe at least in the next couple of months uh so uh let's hope for better times <clears throat> Hi Alun. Hi Alun. Thank you all for uh, being part of my uh, live streams. Uh, I can see so many familiar names every time, and I feel really happy seeing all of you here. Uh, I will be doing uh, another um, two live streams, I think, and then post that I will be. Uh, I will not be doing live streams continuously like I did just now. uh but i will surely be doing live streams uh, I, i want to do it periodically and i also hope to upload some uh, videos like i used to do earlier uh but um, i am not sure how regularly i'll be able to do it but then i'm surely uh, you know try to uh, upload at least a few videos and then i may also be uh, doing some um, baking uh, classes on zoom i'll be updating the details on my instagram and in the youtube community as well uh so uh, if you would be interested then maybe you can just keep looking out this is again going to be for beginners and for people who have uh, never baked before uh, so i'll keep updating that so you will uh, come to know about it uh nitya wants to know which are the brands of chemical free baking ingredients uh what kind of ingredients are you particularly uh, looking at uh, nitya uh so the uh, 12 minutes are up i'll just remove this and see what has happened so we need to bake this until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean yeah so this is done i'll just show it to you so this is how it looks now uh, so uh, it, this was really fast isn't it this was done in i mean the entire process was done in less than uh, 30 minutes and uh, so it is really nice to have some kind of batter like this in the uh, fridge uh, especially when you have uh, you know you have a party for example you have a new year party tomorrow even at home uh, then you can try probably this or even the chocolate variation of this uh i'll post the link in the description box that tastes really good with uh, ice cream and maybe you could also make some uh, you know strawberry sauce to go with that 
uh, so that will make a really nice new year uh, eve uh, dessert and post the uh, uh, link in the description box so we'll just let this cool uh, for a couple of minutes and then put it on the uh, cooling rack and uh, you want to serve these when they are still a little i mean when they have just cooled you don't want them to uh, cool completely and then you know serve it uh, later i like to eat these when they have just been removed from the cooling rack so you can you know that's uh, really nice it tastes very buttery and the uh, crust of these uh, small cakes will be very uh, crunchy and uh, you can store this for a few days but uh, the crust of these uh, cakes will become a little soft uh, but i would suggest that even if you store these then you could uh, microwave this for like 20 seconds or so and then you know and then you could uh, eat them uh, so i think that's the best way to eat these uh, financiers um baking powder uh nitya i can recommend uh, uh aluminum free baking powder uh, so this doesn't have aluminum in it uh, so you can also try urban platter so they also have uh, aluminum free baking powder Uh, so i think these are the uh, two i mean uh, this i got from the usa uh, i don't i'm not sure if this is available here in india this is ramford i've been using this since a long time uh, so you can try uh, urban uh, platter and if you're looking for more baking ingredients uh, if you want to uh, there are some uh, things i have put on my amazon uh, store front uh, there are some uh, product suggestions uh, on the amazon store front you can take a look at that okay so we'll let this cool completely and uh, i'll put this on the uh, cooling rack and uh, now it's time for me to announce the uh, winners of the previous uh, giveaway uh, there is the giveaway from atom and uh, farm mate so i will just read out the uh, names of the uh, winners here sure about that alan uh, i will just check and i'll come back to you i'm not able to recall that right away uh, let me just check about that alan yeah so the uh, winners of the uh, giveaway are uh, anjana bai and uh, ishika rawat Anjana Bai, Rishi, Ishika Rawat, then uh, Ankita Kavit Desai, and uh, Lata Chaudhary, and Sheetal Ishwar. So, uh, so congratulations to all of you. I'll just read out the names of the uh, winners again. Uh, Anjana Bai, Ishika Rawat, Ankita Kavit Desai, Lata Chaudhary, and uh, Sheetal Ishwar. uh congratulations you win a uh, electronic scales from um uh, atom and also gift hampers from farmy foods so you get all of these things uh maybe even more like you know there are a couple of uh, things more from farmy you'll be getting so you'll be getting uh electronic scales from atom and a gift hamper from uh, farmy foods and i'll be sending you an email soon and uh so and the gifts will be uh, the prizes will be uh, sent to you soon thank you so much uh, nitya and uh, yes so five winners will be winning these uh, uh, digital scales and the gift hampers from atom and if any of you want to purchase uh, uh, digital scales uh, from atom you can go to their website and there is currently a coupon uh, code applicable and uh, it is uh, cakes and more 10 cakes and more 10 i will put that in the description box below the video and they're offering a per, uh, discount of 10% uh, to uh, the first 10 people who uh, buy with this uh, discount code and uh, this is applicable until 15th january uh, so if you want to purchase then please do take a look at this thank you so much nitya wish you also a very happy new year 
uh, Rajapriya, uh, when will be the next live? Uh, the next live will be next week. So I think mostly next Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, so I'll be updating this um, in uh, on Instagram and uh, the, you know, I'll also be scheduling a live stream. Uh, so yes. Yeah, so we will uh, wait for this to cool. And uh, once it cools, uh, especially if you are uh, using a nonstick pan, so this one is a nonstick pan. And when you're using a nonstick pan, use a plastic knife uh, because you do not want to uh, damage the, um, uh, the nonstick coating. If you use something made of metal, like, you know, for example, a spoon or a knife, then you may end up destroying the, uh, you know, uh, the nonstick coating of the muffin tin. Uh, so just take a plastic knife. This is the only thing I reserve this uh, plastic knife for. I have uh, some two of these which I had purchased so many years ago. And uh, this is the only use for them. And uh, so, yes. So I wish I could share this with you. And if you wish, you could dust some powdered sugar on top of these. And then, you know, you could uh, serve these. So these are really tiny, very, very small, very small. And uh, yes, so this will taste good. Now, it's just a tiny bit warm. Now, it is still not cooled completely and it's not hot either. Uh, so maybe this is, you know, uh, or of course, if you like it uh, completely cool, then you, know, you could just cool it and then you could uh, have it. Uh, it's my pleasure, uh, Rajapriya. Uh, so, uh, and if you, any of you want to purchase uh, uh, the chocolates from uh, Sihi website, then you could also, that on that website, as there is another uh, coupon code applicable right now. Uh, it is called Suma Loves Sihi. You can apply the coupon code Suma Loves Sihi and then you could also avail of this special discount uh, for my uh, viewers. You'll get a discount of 7%. You can check out the dark chocolate and uh, cocoa and a lot of other things on that uh, website. Hi, Savita. Okay, so we come to the end of uh, today's uh, live stream and I'll be announcing the next live stream soon. Uh, congratulations once again to all the winners and uh, the Sihi gift hampers will be sent to you very soon. And the winners who are the names I announced just a while ago, you will also be uh, getting your uh, uh, hampers very soon. I'll be getting in touch with you. I'll be emailing you and uh, please do provide me your uh, address and your phone number as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, looking forward uh, to the uh, next live stream and uh, hope to meet you again. Wish you all a very happy 2021. Uh, so uh, let's uh, have a good year ahead and uh, I hope to be able to uh, be more in touch with you guys and make more useful videos for you. Thank you so much for being here, folks. Uh, have a good day. Happy New Year again. Bye. In this industry. Thank you so much, folks. Bye.